Have you ever wondered how long it takes our HCUs to do a full well-to-well -well rig over? Today, our experts will answer that very question. What are single pick rig overs? How does our team increase efficiencies on your multi-well pads? So from when the time we lay down the, the drilling BHA or finish the production tubing install, um, we set up to rig over, which involves getting rid of the ancillary equipment on the ground, putting the crane in place, prepping the crane, making sure he's in a place where he can safely lift all the equipment. Uh, once the crane's set up, we attach, you know, we send the pup joint or the piece of pipe down into the slips uh, where we actually secure secure it there and that, that allows us to hold on to the pup joint or the piece of pipe and that's what's actually going to be used as sort of the rigging that, that lifts the unit. From there we attach the crane with the, the elevators, the rig elevators, onto the pup joint and once that's all secured and in place we can then start disconnecting uh, the guy wires, loosening the bolts on the stack and actually disconnecting the unit and the primary BOP stack from the first wellhead and prepping it to move over to the second wellhead. The other thing that uh, we really have, have created is um, to build on those efficiencies is, is not only on the drill out but on the rig over process as well. Uh, we've got the engineered into our, into our rig floors and our substructures the ability to have a one pick design. Essentially what that means is we are able to rig up on the first well conventionally, um, you know, set up our BOP, primary BOPs, lift the unit on and uh, start the completion program from that point. But what happens on wells after we finish well one and we skip to the next wells, two, three, four, however many are on the pad, we can utilize our one pick uh, technology and that enables us to break off the flange, the primary BOP flange from the frac valve or the master valve and lift the entire package in one swing. Um, for the most part, we bend, set our uh, KPI benchmarks at about four to five hours complete from the time we land the hangar on that first well to the time we're pressure testing on that second well. So on multi-well pads, uh, we're seeing a, a big increase on, on multi-wells uh, on our customers' pads. This efficiency is, is shaving days off the total completion time of that pad by by having the ability to, to start your operation back up on well two within five hours is, is phenomenal cost savings.